So last time I covered the DG58, I had mentioned that the thing was good, but it wasn't for me. I personally statistically could see that the DG58 was one of the best weapons in the game, but I personally couldn't get on board with it because I didn't really like the burst weapons in this game or burst weapons in general. I, I changed my mind. I'm going to retract those statements. I found a build that I am very much in love with, and it's a different, much different from my last one. So let's get into it. Let's get our build started here with a stock with the Soldier Pro padded butt plate. Uh, butt. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm a child. It's going to give you gun kick control and fire aiming stability at a sacrifice of tax stance spread, sprint fire, sprint to fire speed and hip fire spread. None of that is really a big deal when you're using a burst weapon. We're gaining much more than we're losing here. And you can see it's 17% to the gun kick control, 1.9% to the horizontal recoil control and 6.1% towards the vertical recoil there. And for a rear grip here, you're gonna want the Varanus Steady Grip, Fire Aiming Stability, Gun Kick Control, and Recoil Control at the sacrifice of a small amount of aiming idle sway. Not too big of a deal. Once again, your positives are going to far outweigh the cons here. You're getting 10% towards your Gun Kick Control, 7.3% towards your Horizontal Recoil Control, and then we got 8% towards the Vertical Recoil Control. Now for an under barrel, I have the FTAC MSP-98 Hand Stop. That's gonna give you aim walking speed, vertical recoil control, gun kick control, and movement speed. This is just going to suit my play style a little better if you want to go with a larger magazine this is the attachment i would recommend taking off or possibly an optic if you want to you know throw the mk3 reflector on there you can take off the underbarrel this doesn't really increase your recoil control all too much to be honest i'm more into it for that overall movement speed but we're going to look at the statistics like i said it's really not too big of a deal on the recoil side negative six percent towards the gun kick control and negative 6.8 percent towards the vertical recoil control but I was mainly targeting there for the movement. Now for a muzzle, I have the Shadow Strike Suppressor. I don't feel like we need any more recoil on this thing or recoil control on this thing, but the suppressor is gonna help me streak up much easier. I'm not gonna get red dot chase. People are gonna be wondering where the heck did I just get shot from? Big thing, we got zero cons to running it, but we got the positive of staying off the mini map. And our last attachment here is going to be the COG T25 light barrel, giving you an increase to bullet velocity and range, aim walking steadiness, aim walking speed and movement speed, again, to increase some mobility, but we're also getting damage range here. So a rather flawless attachment, if you ask me, you're getting a 20% increase to the damage ranges, a 10.5% increase to the bullet velocity, and like I stated, we're also getting an increase to the movement. So as I was talking about, I wasn't a fan of burst weapons. I haven't been a fan of burst weapons since like the M8 and Black Ops 3. But I tell you what, this one feels, I think the reason I like it is because it kind of feels like the M8 from Black Ops 3. I think just changing around those attachments, I also took off an optic and tried the iron sights. It feels much, much better. I'm not going to say I'm the best with burst weapons, but I definitely had fun using this one. There's all your attachments. Make sure to pause if you want to copy those down. Here is the rest of the loadout for you guys. We're going to be heading over to Afghan. We're going to be making Afghan go kaboom. I don't, I don't want to spoil anything. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button as always. Let's get into it. Hope you guys enjoy. We have got the DG58 in hand here. And I remember the last time I covered this weapon, that and the FR556, I explained that I'm really just not very good with burst weapons. It is just it, what it is. When it comes to burst weapons, I find that it's very hard for me to be accurate, especially when it comes to like long ranges. Here's the thing, though. I think I can make some progress here. I see a riot shielder with a shotgun. There was also a sniper. Is that his? That was his. Okay. There was also a sniper that was chilling over here. Looks like the sniper dipped out, though. Unless this was him. It might be him. Okay, it looks like they flipped, actually. Yeah, they flipped. Let's get on our move on. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't expect them to be here already. They must have spawned here. Here's the thing. I actually don't think that they flipped. They, like, partially flipped, I guess? And now my team's spawning. I don't know. The spawns aren't really making sense at the moment, but that's completely okay. Uh, with my teammate pushing up here, it should spawn them out. They shouldn't stay spawning behind us here. We should be able to clear this hill out. I just... I'm not feeling confident about that. I think they're going to spawn on me here. There is a spawn right here. Oh, 
Like I said, there's a spawn right there, and there they are. I don't know who you think you're trying to humiliate, but it ain't me, coach. This guy's going to keep trying to come back. Let's hit this. He missed, thank God. We Now we can get behind all these people. Or not. I don't know who just shot me. Did he mean to sh Oh, he's right there. I don't know what he's running. It did a lot of damage to me, though. Wait. Our safest route's going to be this way. And I'm not going to hit my streaks until... Well, since I'm on a nuke streak, I'm just going to hold off altogether, I think. Holy crap, where was he? I didn't see a sniper scope. Oh my, he is a mile away. Guess what, buddy? You're holding that for me. Holy smokes. I'm going to give the one guy credit for the shot. I love the swarm, but I hate the swarm, dude. You should have protection somehow against your own streaks, I think. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. I think you should have protection against your own streaks. Some people could be disagree with that, but like... I feel like that's just like a, one of those common sense things, you know? If you get your own, if you call in streaks, you should have the ability to not die to them. One of the big streak problems in Modern Warfare 2 was that of the VTOL. The VTOL used to kill people a lot. The swarm, I guess, kind of makes sense because if it's targeting an enemy and it plunges on you. Wait. Are they spawning here? They are spawning here. We have another chopper now. We might be able to get lock in a second swarm here for Lucky. Why did I challenge that? They were spawning there. I knew they were spawning there, bro. That's so. Oh. That was the streak in hand right there if I play that properly. I played that properly, I easily locked down. At least an advanced UAV. Now right there, you're witnessing the damage range drop off of burst weapons, unfortunately. Not much you can do against that. If I had to guess these guys, yep, there's one. Okay, I just steal my kill. I pr appreciate you, boo. I did just get revenge, but it doesn't feel good because I didn't get it with my gun. I think my chopper just stole that kill. It's crazy. Snipers are like the only thing, swear to God, that kill me. It's always been the case for me. When I'm on streaks, snipers are always there to ruin my fun. They're just hard scoped in the back. It's never like a quick scoper either. It's always like a hard scoper, far away as you can get. That ruined my fun. On a five, so we could possibly get the double swarm here. Did I just hear one? No, I'm bugging. We could go around and do the same thing we did last time. How did you not see me? I don't know how that guy just quite literally didn't see me, but sure. I must have been out of his FOV just a smidge. Do I pick up that sniper? Maybe? Because... I feel like a lot of my deaths could have been, or well, I, what if I died two times? I feel like a death or two could have been prevented. UAV from the squad, that's big. Doesn't make it any less terrifying. Shotgun, shotgun, I knew that guy had a shotgun. I knew he had a shotgun, that's the thing. Let's pick this up. Oh, he's got one of those stupid battle buddy things, dude. I hate him. I hate him. Those battle buddy things always just, they get in my ears and I just like it. Yeah, you hear it? Um, I could go advanced UAV here. Yeah, we're going to hit it. Oh, I'm glad I hit it. Hold on.
They're spawning on me. The scope is so zoomed in. Oh my god. But if I use it properly, get a reload him. They sh might just push this way based on where the hill's at. Oh, 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 teammate, get him. Where did you even come from? So you're there. Oh, I missed. I'm on another nuke streak though. That's the thing. There's a guy over here. Okay, he's dead. Let's go with this. Maybe that can spook him a bit. I'm on a 23. Wait, that guy, is that guy spawning with me? They're spawning with me. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. That's not what I want to see. Let's hide. We're going to hide for a second. Normally I wouldn't be tripping about a nuke like this, but like when they're spawning on me, I'm no bueno, no bueno. He just shot a launcher right there. Anybody else over here? Doesn't appear so. Here's, I, I'm not hitting. We're not hitting the the swarm until we are 100% confident with getting the new. Team spawning here, good. Are they gonna spawn on me? Can't make it up. Are they gonna spawn on me is the question of the year. Ah, that's unbelievable. It is what it is. I don't care. We already know this. I don't care about the nukes, but like that, you you can't make that up, man. It's quite simple. When it comes to being unbelievable, that's max depression. Depression is the word too. Who's stunning me? Wherever the, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Keep going off swarm. I appreciate you. Give me the hunter bomb. I'll take a hunter bomb. I don't even know where you're where you're, you're flying down at. Apparently not right here. See, I love the swarm, but I also hate the swarm. I love to hate it. Hunter bomb though. I love the swarm because sometimes it'll straight up just kill me off streaks. Nothing you can do about it. Other times, gets me a hunt, like 40 kills, literally. I don't know where this guy's going to be at. Well, that was a good guess. Hunter bomb we take. That's for sure. Can't complain about a hundred kills. Wait, this shotgun guy has hit markered me like nine times, dude. That's just how she rolls sometimes. Well, 109, maybe my chopper. Nope, I'll get it myself. Hundred and twelve on the dot there with the DG. I could say I'm getting better with them. I still don't like burst weapons very much, but that's it's a good gameplay.